Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we discuss plans to construct lighthouses on the moon to support future lunar missions. The moon has fascinated humans for centuries, yet it is only in modern times that special explorations are being carried out to study the physiological aspects of the celestial body, thanks to the advancement of science. From robots to human landings, in the last 50 years, astronomers have launched several lunar missions in a bid to study the evolution of the solar system and, in particular, the existence of human beings. Now, plans are afoot to build giant lighthouses on the moon that will not only illuminate the local terrain during lunar light, but will also serve as a single point infrastructure for power storage, communications, navigation, and even surveillance. This endeavor is being carried out by Honeybee Robotics. They call it the Lunar Utility Navigation with Advanced Remote Sensing and Autonomous Beaming for Energy Redistribution, or Lunar Sabre. This tower of power is expected to be nearly 100 meters tall, with the capacity to scale over 200 meters in height above the lunar landscape to boost its service range. The tower would be a deployable structure, topped by solar panels that integrate power storage and transfer and communications into a single infrastructure as part of the company's plan to develop a lunar economy. Lunar Sabre can be above the lunar horizon and always see the sun if we're in the south pole of the moon. Chris Zachney, Vice President of Exploration Systems at Honeybee Robotics in Altadena, California, told Space.com. Right on top of the structure, there are cameras and communication systems. We have a floodlight to illuminate areas for rovers. You put one or two of them at the south pole of the moon, and you cover the entire area. It's your lighthouse, he said. Giving more details about the project, Vishnu Sanigapali, Honeybee's principal investigator of Lunar Sabre, said that it was speculated that the poles of the moon would have peaks of eternal light, where deploying a solar panel would help generate power throughout the year. However, after NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter started to map out the Moon, it was discovered that there are no locations near the poles that receive sunlight consistently throughout the year, he said. There has been a lot of analysis done using the lunar topography, where it was discovered that rims of craters near the South Pole have long lunar days due to their height. Just not 100%. Sanigapali was quoted as saying, Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.